What's up, y'all? So we are headed to the gas station right now. I gotta get me a little dranky drink and a little something to eat. We got the blades, you know, all sharpened up in the last video. In this video, I'm going to go over some bush hog, brush hog, whatever the flip you want to call it. Your height and stuff on like where your bush hog needs to sit, where it should sit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hop in the gas station real quick, grab something to eat, and then uh, I'll see y'all at the barn. So we made her out back uh, to the barn. Grab my tripod and um, yeah. Ah, love that blue trout. I'm good. Uh, but we got the essentials: uh, tripod, uh, grizzly wintergreen gloves, water, and a cooler. Nice. Like I said, probably won't be going over too much um, with like bush hogging and stuff, but we will go over like um, setting your height and all that stuff and going over your bush hog, checking everything, make sure everything's good. Um, but yeah, so also, I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, like go, go chew, but if you do chew, I'm um, just saying like, if you just uh, do the, do the thing. Put that, put that thing in the cooler. Nothing wrong with a cold chew at the end of the day, bud. Well, here in about 10 minutes. Alright y'all, so we made it out here to the property. I think it's about 14 acres, I think is what they said. So I have to take out these uh, traveling pins. Take this pin out and then that's, you know, not gonna come out, so I have to get a hammer. So I got the pins out, now we're gonna unfold this real quick. I think that wing might get stuck. Yeah, that's to go shove it. I got that one pushed down. I'm still on fold. Ah, it's hotter than a hoochie coochie out here today, boys. Honestly, I think it might be set. It might be set just right. I haven't mowed with it yet, but I got the level of the of the bush hog height and it looks a little high so i kind of think i want to take out a ring these are your rings on your lift cylinder i want to take out one of these and put a half one in and then start going so basically there's like we got like a little rubber or a metal band on the inside and they just open and close like this so you take an inch i get an inch one out put a half inch in All right, so I know I'm gonna get sunburned today. I'm already tan, but uh, I'm gonna get burnt. I already know I am, but uh, bush hog looks good. Uh, I gotta get some quality H2O. Ah, uh, should have brought more water. Anywho, here's the pasture I'm gonna be doing. Then uh, behind this barn, there's some uh, another section but uh yeah okay well i didn't make but uh one pass and then had to call out the famous mechanic tommy to come pull me out of pull me out what i'm doing okay now nah, that did it hold this hold it hold the shield i went to put her in reverse to uh get above to that fence and here's the shifting mechanism and i got the pin out of the slot we're getting uh mechanic lessons from Tommy, 
teach me how to fix a shifter that uh, I locked to break. All right, so we got the tractor fixed. The shifter, it's an older shifter. It's got a lot of slop in it. And uh, so whenever I went to put it in reverse to back up to the fence, I like shoved it in between the two notches and it came out. So I had no idea even what happened. They just wouldn't shift into reverse. So we came home, I had to get some more water in my cooler cause I drank all of it helping dad. So now we're heading back out to the field and uh, gonna go cut some grass. All right, so I made it back out here. Got my cooler full of water. Uh, I got a couple passes made. Um, so, show what this bush hog can do, I guess. dogs are able to cut down you know little trees up to about you know like about like that or something like that i don't know it just depends on the bush hog but i will tell you that it ain't gonna chop up this too well the gearbox ain't gonna like it I throw this in the pile ah. Get all right guys so today was just a big l for videoing i was, i started bush hogging probably around i don't know probably like 11 or so um had to go do some stuff this morning and uh got out there kind of late but, but all right so i got done bush hogging my first field about 5 30 or so i got toasted literally toasted but yeah look at this now you can see it this is crazy man I started on my my buddy's uh, pasture. It's got it's overgrown with like all kinds of shrubs, about that big around. It's just it's gonna be a pain in the butt because once you mow that tall stuff, you really gotta mow it again, mow it all the way down as low as it'll go. Because if you don't, you're gonna have them stops about that about eight six eight inches tall. Like a tractor tire goes in there, it's just gonna freaking make it go flat. I didn't even get to go to the farm today and bush all with the goat pasture. Cause I was doing all other kinds of stuff. So I reckon tomorrow I'll get after it and uh, get them taken care of. The reason we ain't been using the 1486 is just because the AC's out of it. And uh, we haven't got the uh, the compressor and like all the rebuilt stuff ordered for it yet. So I had to suffer and get some burnt today. But we're headed home. I got a couple T-bone steaks that we cooked up the other night. Uh, I'm gonna go home. Put them in the microwave, take a shower, and then go to bed. I just knew that I wasn't going to be able to really bush hog much, um, videoing and stuff, but uh, yeah. Alright guys, it's another day. Um, yesterday I got pretty burnt, as you can kind of see. Um, so today we need to go to the, a ranch. Uh, I need to go mow the goat pasture. Really, I need to go finish my buddy's pasture too that I did. Uh, did not finish that yesterday. Yeah, a lot, a lot going on, a lot going on. Um, so we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna take y'all with me, and then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. So right now we're getting into the freezer, getting my ice packs for my water. Yeah, I wouldn't have freaking gone either, puss. Let's go! Come on! That's what I thought. Let's get it going. Quit! Yeah, I'd be pissed if this dually didn't park in the fucking way. Parks right in the, right in the middle of... I should need to go to the freaking bank and my truck can't fit in the ATM! This is Bush League. All right, so I've been convinced that I'm going to flatbed my truck. Uh, I just feel like if you flatbed your truck, you can go anywhere you want. I didn't end up bush hogging it. I just went ahead with it. Uh, went on the inside with a mower and just mowed it down. So I'm going to blow that mower off. And then I got to grab this other mower. And then we're going to give him a bath because a happy grandpa 
It's the best grandpa. So, sucker fired up. Need to go put some air in the tire. Be fine. I've never used this mower because it's the older one and it's freaking, like, listen to this. It's just, when it idles, it's the loudest thing ever. All right, so now that we got uh, that mower aired up and stuff, we're gonna go uh, get the air nozzle or the air chuck and uh, blow this mower off over here. So we got a storm coming in from the west. Uh, I hear the tigers growling in there. I had a 30% chance on the radar, so at least I got the mowing done before then. So we got the mower blowed off. Um, like I said, I said well, what, uh, YouTube videos, how my grandpa just doesn't clean his mowers when he puts them up. I, I don't know if that's just like an old person thing. But it's like if I use it and I don't clean it off, then he's all mad. So it's like if he goes out and puts out a bale of hay for the horses and it gets all muddy, he don't have to clean it off. But if I go out there and get it muddy, then I got to clean it off. And I'm the one getting bitched out. I didn't. What the flip's up with that, man? I'm just I'm just out here doing the thing like he's doing. Da. Ah. All right, so we're gonna go get out the steam washer and uh, wash this one off, and then bring out the 740 and get her washed off. Lord knows I ain't no sight, and I only dress up on Sunday and on Friday night. Devil's in my veins While the quarters in my pocket Make the gene box sing Alright, so we got the 455 washed off We're gonna go on the side of the lean-to Park her underneath there And then pull up the 740 and give her a bath Boom! -a. Water break Call the H2O I might just give myself a bath. I don't know. Lonesome song on how I lost my way down a one lane path. Nobody paved my way. Had a lot of good times and a few hard breaks. I've always been a sinner, never claimed to be a saint. Ain't always been the guy that I am today. Me and Drew used to break in the Mustangs. In the middle of the night in Kingston Springs, then karma come around and cross my way. Grandpa passed, I got a little while. Started inking up my body every check I got. Just sitting in the bar. All right, guys, got the 740 washed off. We're going to go put her on the lean-to and uh, put these hoses up. And uh, I'll catch you all inside the truck. All right, guys, so it's hot, um, but that's really all I can do for part two. I just really wasn't much there. Um, don't know really what to film for bush hogging. I mean, you're just, it's bush hogging. So I'm gonna go home and uh, eat another steak. Yeah, so uh, we'll catch you on the beat.